Right, so myself and Laura have decided we're going to go out in the van tonight. One of the issues that we have when we go in the van is the window covers we have for the back door. Oh, uh, well, I was going to say pretty useless. They're not pretty useless. Um, they do the job, but they, they don't do the job that great. So these window covers I have, um, they're, they're wide enough for the, the van windows, but they're, they're not, like, low enough. They don't go low enough down. So they'd leave about half of the window exposed at the bottom, which when you want some privacy, that's no good because if you're getting changed or, or whatever, uh, people can just come and look through. When you turn the lights on inside the van as well, the window tint, while the lights are off, you can't see through. As soon as you turn the light on, it may as well not be there. So yeah, the plan is to see if I can make some window covers. I have watched a few videos on how other people make them. So the plan essentially is to make a template out of paper, cut the template out, transfer the, the template onto cardboard boxes that I've acquired from the supermarket, cover one side with foam, the, the black um, self-adhesive foam that I used on the, the van ceiling to insulate the ceiling, cover the other side with Reflectix, and then using an idea I stole from Mr. Hobbies over at Zafira Camper. I'll put a link to his, his channel and his video specifically. I'm also going to cover the, the back where the, the black insulating foam is. I'm going to cover that with some weed fabric. Um, I'll make the weed fabric slightly larger than the, the actual window cover. So it folds over and then I can stick it onto the Reflectix. The Reflectix will shine into the van, obviously, so to reflect any heat back into it. And hopefully, hopefully that'll be it done. So, we'll see how we get on. So over here, I've just got some regular computer printer paper. I've stuck it on our windows as a, a little groove. I've stuck it in the groove um, and pulled it out, as I've showed you. <laughs> Just using masking tape, so the plan is to just draw around with a black sharpie and then cut out the the template. Once it's cut out, I will make sure that it fits back in, make sure I've not messed it up. And then after that, I'm going to transfer the mark onto a cardboard box. So coming back on to cut it out, so I've got the template, uh, just going to cut it out. Right, so I've finished cutting out the, the template. I've been out to the van, I've just pushed it up to make sure that it fits in. Um, I thought I'd done it wrong, uh, <laughs> some of the corners weren't lining up. I've had to rotate it to make sure, so I've, I've had them all gone. It's like, excuse the wind. This is to the top, that's to the middle of the van, obviously, and this is the front facing into the van. Just to make sure that I get the right way. Um, that's for the driver's door. And then, luckily for the other door, it's a mirror image, so literally I turn it around, and then that'll be right for that door. But we'll do one door at a time. So, next I need to transfer this onto some cardboard. Because the little bit of wind that's out here, I was hoping to have escaped it, but because of the wind, I think I might go into the kitchen and do it in the kitchen. So I've got these boxes from the supermarket, seedless white grapes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically I've cut them out, opened them up. Um, there's one just on the floor here. Typically, they're just not big enough. Story of my life, nothing ever works, nothing ever goes to plan. I'm sure I can get around it. Like I say, literally, they're just a fraction too small. So I'm just going to go with it and see how I get on. I will show you in a second. I'll move the camera over, but I can't at the moment because it's over there. So I'll show you. Literally, I've got the cardboard box opened up flat and floor. I've put the template on the top, and I'm literally going to draw around the edges where it just where bits of the box are shown, just to trim them off. Um, and like I say, I'll test fit them against the van. And then we'll see how we go from there. So, so there it is. Um, like I say, you've got the the bits of the box here. It's over on this edge here. Like I say, it's maybe it's, I don't know about about a centimeter or so. Maybe it's not even that where the paper just goes past the edge of the box. 
So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and do that. Right, so had a bit of a change of plan. So the cardboard, in some places it was like two layers thick. It was an absolute nightmare to try and cut. I got the general shape of the window cut, but it wouldn't just like tuck in in the corners. It just, it wasn't working, basically. So I've cut my losses on that idea. I've stuck the template straight onto this sticky foam. Like I said, self-adhesive on this side. It's just, just foam on this side. Um, so I'm just going to cut it out and then hopefully that will just slot right into place. So I'll get it cut out and I'll come back to you. Right, so I've got the foam cut out. It's just as awful to work with this time as it was the last time. But I've got it cut anyway and I'm just manoeuvring stuff on the floor here. So I've cut out a sheet of Reflectix and the plan basically is to peel the sticky off this stick it straight down onto the Reflectix and cut it out. Right, so I have one completed window blind. We had a slight change of plan. I've not put the weed fabric on the back. The foam by itself is okay. Like I said, I've got the Reflectix, this is on the inside. I've just wrote on, obviously, driver side, just so I know when I make the second one, which one's which, basically. Um, I've just gone around the, the edging with some black duct tape, just to try and seal the edging a little bit also just on this corner i'd cut it ever so slightly too small so there was just a little bit of light would have shone through so again i've just left a little a flap of duct tape just on this edge and it just covers it in a lovely um so yeah basically i don't know how long this video edit will show but it'll maybe maybe show i don't know five ten minutes or so it took three hours to make one. So, yeah, so I'll crack on and I'll get the second one done. Right, so the second one didn't take anywhere near as long as the first one. Obviously, with the first one, I was kind of chopping and changing my plans. That's why it took so long. This one's took about an hour. So, um, obviously, we've got the, the second one made there. That's number one and then number two there. What we've done, we've got some... Just uh, Velcro here, sticky Velcro. We've just cut it into little relatively thin strips. So we're going to stick the Velcro onto the, the glass in the van. Well, it's not actually the glass, it's a window tint, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to stick that. Oh, yeah, Laura's here. Scratching at you. <laughs> or whatever else she was doing. Right. Well, whatever. Um, so we're going to stick those into the van and then we'll see how they look. All right, so we've got the passenger side one first. So, the little bits of sticker covers are horrible. Three, four. Be not uh, if I accidentally stuck it at Laura's ear. Mm. Right. That one. All right, there we have it. Two window covers. So, number one. Excuse you. Number two. So hopefully they'll give us a little bit more privacy and as well because they've got the, the insulation on, hopefully they'll keep a little bit of the heat in as well in the cold weather. So, yep, uh, it's took a little while but I'm, I'm pleased with how they've gone. Like I say, there's a little bit of, of light coming in on the sides, but 
Well, never mind. So, we'll end this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.